money and materialistic things. Let's talk about it. Hey y'all, hey, quick video today. So as you go along in your journey and you start making money in your business and you start, there's gonna be a time that if you haven't already reached it already, there's gonna be a time where you are or are uh, surrounded by or you are, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, intrigued by what what money and fame and money and materialistic not fame well fame too for some people depending on how far you go but how money and materialistic things can can play a role in your in your life um when you start making the money in your business this is the thing don't be driven by by money and materialism don't be driven by looking at other people's money and and their material things that you're that they're showing you on Instagram and going after those things. I want to encourage you that no matter how far you get in business, still stay in your purpose. Still stay in your purpose. It was a couple years ago when one of my husband's um and I don't know if they're even still following me, but if they are, I'm sorry, but I have to tell your story, but I'm not going to say your name where one of my husband's friends wanted me to, well, not friends, one of his, uh, somebody that was in one of the circles he was in, he wanted uh, to sell these, what you call widgets, which basically means, a widget means when you're selling something that you're not necessarily attached to, you don't necessarily believe in, but it's something that is a hot ticket item right now. Say, for example, um, what was he selling? He wanted to sell... Um, dog accessories is what he wanted to sell and he wanted to hire me to sell the dog accessories or you know set up the website run uh facebook ads to it and such and it was so not aligned for me i sent him a i sent him the proposal and everything everybody that comes in contact that wants a proposal send them a proposal that's what i was thinking along those you know at that time but now I don't work with people who I don't have some sort of connection, some sort of alignment with because it's not going to work. I have to feel a certain way in order to, um, I'm sorry, y'all, my bra strap is showing, but I don't go out with my bra strap showing just so you know. <laughs> I had on a denim jacket and now I'm sitting down in my basement just chilling and I don't have on my denim jacket so you see me fumbling because I don't want to be showing my bra strap because my mom will get mad and because I was raised to keep my bra straps in and to keep my fingernail polish always on. No chip nails. I can hear in my head all the time. But anywho, um, he wanted to hire me to push out his widget, which was dog accessories. And I'm like, at that time, I was doing what I had to do. But now I look back and I'm like, I would never take a client like that. I just wouldn't. It is not aligned with who I am. It's not aligned with how I want to feel and working. And my point for you today in making this video for you today is to make sure as coaches, this is especially coaches, make sure you're taking on clients and people that you feel some sort of connection with because it matters. It matters as you go into different negotiations and different um, advancements in the company and different things that you're going to do with this client, you need to feel it here. You need to feel a certain way, okay? And so for those people who are entrepreneurs that aren't coaches that follow along, you know, on my journey and follow along on uh, on this page, what I'll say to you is as you're getting into business, thinking about business, or as you're, you're, you're growing in your business, make sure that you do only things that are aligned with your purpose, aligned with what makes you feel good, aligned with what sets you on fire. It matters. Don't just go after the money and the and the materialistic things that come, you know, with the success of being an entrepreneur, successful entrepreneur, but don't get caught up in those things. Work from purpose. The money will come. All right, you ladies have a good evening.